Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. And if you need to speak with me or you, or you want more help with your training business, visit the description below. There's a number of ways that you can get in contact with me uh, to book a call or get my one-on-one -on -one help. Now, today's video is about the truth behind one-to-one -one, uh, private training. So over the last few years, uh, our company has helped a lot of trainers transition their business from one-to-one -one into group training. Now, I had an issue with my business when I first started. And if you've been watching the channel for a while, I talk about this, this struggle and this problem I had with the business, business when I first started. Uh, but essentially what it was, was I was doing too many one-to-one -to -one sessions at the beginning, which ultimately maxed out my time and it also led me to burnout, right? So today I want to show you the, the kind of the truths, right? The truths behind private one-to-one -one training, why most people quit their one-to-one -one training business and how you can, if you're at a stage where you're working with a lot of one-to-one -one customers and clients, before you go into burnout mode, before you, you get maxed out, what you can do in order to transition and help your business to, to grow and scale to the next level. So there's four unique areas I look at when I think about the truth behind one-to-one training and the truth behind why most one-to-one -one training businesses fail. The first one is the high operational costs to run a one-to-one -one training business. Now, depending on what part of the world you're in, right, if when it gets to certain times of the year, or maybe you're, you're in a country where you need to have uh, you need to be on a certain type of, of surface in order to run your sessions. Um, this can be very expensive. So to give you guys an example, uh, a lot of the coaches that I, I speak to and I work with are based in the UK. Now, a problem we have in the UK is that nine months out of the 12 months of the year, it is very wet it is very rainy, and if you're using a grass, a natural grass um, surface for your training sessions, it can get to the point where that, that surface becomes unplayable, untrainable. It, it can become flooded, right? So essentially what happens, that affects you, it affects your, you, your business, and it affects how you operate and how you grow grow the business. So for coaches in that in that situation that are using a local park, but they're in a country that it rains a lot, it, the pitch becomes very muddy, it becomes unsafe to train and play on, you might have to then transition your one-to-one -one sessions and try and find somewhere where there's light, where you are on AstroTurf, so artificial air grass pitches. And what happens is all of that adds up to the cost of training uh, your clients. Okay? Because most pitches, and, and this is just an example, right? So a lot of the coaches that I work with or I speak to in the UK, depending on what part of the UK you're in, most, most five-a-side uh, three or four G pitches, right? So three, four G pitches are essential tur turf fields in the UK are going at anywhere between 50 to 70 pounds per hour, okay? So to hire out that pitch, it's anywhere between 50 to 70. Uh, if you're in London, it could be in the 80s, the 90s, or even the 100s. Uh, per hour for that pitch. So what happens is, if you're a one-to-one -one trainer and you're charging £20 per session, right, 
automatically you're not making any money and you're losing money of of that session okay so the high operational costs to run a one-to-one -one session depending on where you are in the world can result in the business failing because it become your sessions become too expensive to run okay so that's one truth about one-to-one -one training and why most coaches fail with this business the second one is limited scalability and this is a problem i had with my business at the beginning so as i mentioned i was doing a lot of one-to-one -one sessions when i first started so if i can recall correctly i was doing anywhere between 30 to 40 one-to-one -one sessions per week now i was making good money i was working with a lot of players i felt that i had a successful training business which if you look at it in terms of uh, income if you look at it in terms of um the amount of clientele i was working with yeah it probably was a successful business at that time but i was a one-man business i was doing the training i was doing the sales calls i was doing the marketing i was doing the admin work i was doing everything to push the business forward and to get the business to the next level so what started to happen is with one-to-one -one training it requires a lot of energy it requires a lot of preparation it requires a lot of attention it requires a lot of essentially your time effort to work with players one on one so what started to happen with my business is as i started to get more inquiries as i started to get more bookings as i started to get more more people that wanted to train with me i noticed that right there's only a so there's only so many hours in the week that i have available to train so in order to grow and scale i couldn't bring on more customers because i didn't have enough hours in the week to bring on them those customers so what i quickly realized is that i've hit my limit i can't go any further with this business because I've maxed out the amount of hours that I'm working. So the problem with one-to-one -one training and the truth behind it is that most coaches uh, that just focus on one-to-one -on -one, -on -one training, it maxes out their time during the week that they're working with players, right? So instead of maybe using those, those hours that you're, you're working with one-to-one, -on -one, to build in and implement group training where you can work with more players at, at once you know i was at that time working with 30 to 40 players per week and i realized quickly that i, I don't have enough hours in the week to be able to grow the business 10 more players so that meant that i had to either charge more for my training sessions or I had to bring in an assistant coach in order to scale and grow to the next level. Two things which, number one, I wasn't charging enough at the time to be able to bring in an assistant coach. And the next one was uh, I, didn't, I didn't know how to charge more for my training sessions because what I was doing was just one session per week and that was it so i didn't know how to charge more and i didn't know how to bring on uh, assistant coaches to help with my training session so that i could work with 10 20 30 more players during the week okay so that was what uh, another truth behind private training and another struggle that i had uh, and the third one is seasonal vari variability now what I mean by this is it, it might get to certain times of the year where you might not even be able to run your one-to-one -one training business. And this can come down to the first point, which is high operational costs. I know so many coaches in this industry that run their one-to-one -one business in sp spring, summer, potentially the fall, autumn, 
But then when we when they get to winter, they, they close the shop. They close the shop because they can't afford to hire out a venue. They can't afford to pay extra fees. And they, are, they just aren't charging enough for their training sessions, but also they don't know, they don't have anywhere that they can afford to train and to continue working with their customers. So essentially they go three or four months in the year without any income because they weren't charging enough at the beginning, because they only were working with players one-on-one, -on -one. And just because they just don't have systems in place that allows them to transition the business into groups and charge more for their training. Okay, so seasonality is a huge problem for one to one air soccer trainers. And that is unfortunately the truth. And it's one of the reasons why a lot of them end up quitting the business in the long term. Now, the fourth one something I kind of touched on is personal burnout, right? I was this close to quitting my business. I was this close to giving up, to shutting the shop because I started to hate what I was doing. But it was because I was getting burnt out. I was, over, I was overworking myself. I was doing too many sessions. I was charging too little for my sessions. I was taking on so much work, running the sessions, planning the sessions, uh, getting to and from the sessions, doing the admin work, doing the sales call, doing the marketing, doing the promotion, doing the, the legal side of the business. And, you know, aside from that, doing events to try and grow the brand. I was doing everything within the business, which ultimately led me to almost burning out and and it got to the point where i'm like right i've got to change something in the business because if not i'm just going to end up quitting it i'm going to end up hating what i'm doing and i've come so far to just quit right i don't want to just you know build the business get get to a point and then i burn myself out where i don't want to train anymore don't want to do it anymore. I just want to close it and just quit. Okay. So that's the fourth reason why a lot of private one-to-one -one soccer trainers fail in this industry. Personal burnout, right? They get, they're doing too many sessions. They're not charging enough. They're not making enough money. Um, they're not making enough money in order to hire out a facility to continue working with players during the year. And they don't know how to transition all those one-to-one -one clients into group training, okay? So if this is you, if this is something that you need help with, visit description below. Um, I've personally worked with many trainers one-to-one. -one. I've helped them go from 30, 40, 50 sessions per week. They're doing one-to-one -one into a group model where they can work with more players doing less sessions uh, per week. So if that is you, if this is something that you want to do, Description below, you can book a call with me, you can reach out to me via email, you can get my help uh, with your business. Okay, thank you for watching, and if you haven't yet, uh, like, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.